Good evening. So it is most definitely my bedtime, but I wanted to start this reading vlog today and somehow it's bedtime. So we're going to do it now. Let me tell you about the books that I'm planning to read in the next week. I actually started on my commute this morning reading Summer Night by Jim Butcher, which is the fourth book in the Dresden Files, which is all about this wizard called Harry Dresden, who solves paranormal crimes. If you haven't watched my vlogs before, then you won't know that I tend to get really annoyed at Harry Dresden, like over-sexualizing women all the time. But I enjoyed the second book more when I went in with like a really determined view that I was just going to ignore all of that. So I'm going to try that again with the fourth book because the third book really annoyed me. And it's kind of frustrating because there is some really interesting stuff going on in this world and with the magic. But like, when I get annoyed, I can't pay attention to that. So I'm trying hard to overlook that for now. So, so far in this one, um, Harry is in a really bad state because of the events of the third book. Um, his girlfriend has kind of left him and he's trying to work out something magical to help her and perhaps get her back. Uh, he's also kind of at war with the vampires and um, they're trying to assassinate him. Right near the beginning of the book he also runs into Queen Mab of the Fairies and as well he's been called in front of the Wizard Council because they're not entirely happy with the things he did in the book before either. So it's a good start, it's interesting. I think I'm about 15% in so far so I guess I'll let you know when I've read some more of that probably on my commute for the next couple of days where I have to go into the office. <laughs> As well, I am going to be reading Libriomancer, which I've read about half of last week. So this is a book about this guy who is part of this organization where people can kind of pull magic out of books or pull items out of books using magic. Um, our main character isn't really supposed to use that magic, however, we've got another war with some vampires going on, although it seems like there's a bigger mystery than that, and so he's trying to figure it out. I'm kind of a little bit sick of vampire wars at the moment, but um, there are some cool elements in this, so I am hoping I can find some more time to read this as well. I do also have a bunch of graphic novels, comic key type things that I want to read this week, but I meant to read them last week and I didn't find time then either, so uh, I'm not making any promises yet until I get some more sleep. Maybe when I've had some more sleep I'll feel more optimistic about my ability to get anything done. So with that in mind I better actually go and try to get some of the sleep and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hello! So this week at work was mega stressful and just a lot going on and I was in the office so much and even on Friday when I was working from home I thought I would be able to have some time for me stuff and be able to finish up and still have energy but no! So tired by the end of the week and so now it's Saturday night, I'm about to head out for dinner and I feel like I've done hardly anything but work this week which I'm pretty sure at the start of the week I was saying that I was gonna try to not just do work fail. Anyway, um, I did manage to do some reading since I was commuting. I'm now past halfway on the summer night and I realized, and I came up with this realization before, but the way to treat these books as if they are fantasy romance, because they are fantasy romance and all this nonsense that Harry is going on about, that's like that fantasy romance aspect but from a male gaze and that's why it's so frustrating. I don't even generally like fantasy romance so fantasy romance from a male gaze is especially annoying. However, the fantasy aspect is cool. So in this one he's getting very involved in the fairies like Queen Mab and Queen Mav of the Winter and Summer Courts as well as more involvement with this wizard council and we're starting to learn a little bit about Harry's past. So it is getting better as long as I just really focus on not being annoyed by Harry and just remember it's fantasy romance and you just flip over that stuff in fantasy romance if you're me and you have no interest in it. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully I'll have some more time tomorrow for listening to audiobooks. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see what happens. I'm still very behind on everything. Um, as well, Libriomancer. So I am about three quarters of the way through and it's been better as well because we have had less vampires. Um, it's been more about the, the Libriomancer magic and finding out the source of this murder 
stuff that's been happening. One thing I do wish though is this Libriomancer magic so it's all based around books and this one really cool thing that happened was kind of really focused on the book Feed by Mira Grant. So if you don't know Mira Grant is a pen name for Sean and Maguire and I really enjoyed all the drowning deep under that pen name. So I would like to read more Mira Grant and I've heard of Feed before and I think it's on my my Goodreads to read list but I haven't read it and I feel like if I'd read it that section of this book would have been like even more exciting because I would have understood more about the characters and and the story that was mentioned. Like you don't need to have read it to follow what's going on but I think it would have been even better if I had. And I almost wish there was like a companion list somewhere that told me what I should read before I read this. Maybe I'll have to make that. Maybe it exists and I just didn't think to look it up. I should try and look it up. Anyway this also I'm going to try and finish this weekend. I'm so close like less than 100 pages so I should be able to do it if I can just find some time but as I said, I'm about to go out, so not today, maybe tomorrow. Just like that, it is Sunday night. I had the laziest day today, but it was nice. I had the most phenomenal nap. So hopefully I can go into this week feeling rested. Also, while I was being lazy, I did actually manage to finish Libriomancer. And in the end, I think I really liked it. Like, I'm not sure about the romance. It's kind of weird. Interesting, but kind of weird. So we'll see where that goes, because I I do think now I might actually continue this series, mainly because the thing that it's doing with this book magic is really interesting and there's a lot hinted that there's going to be a lot more to this magic kind of developed in the next books. I think this is a four book series as far as I can tell. As well, remember how I was complaining about how I wish I had a list of the books that were included in it? Right at the back there's a list of all the books that are included in it including like asterisks so you know which ones were actually just made up books they're not even real. So there are a few that I've read of this but I actually think I might try and read the ones that I'm missing and maybe if at some point I get to the second book I'll see if there's a similar list and I can do some pre-reading. As well I think I've read some more of The Summer Night but I don't really know how much I read since I last talked to you. Uh, it's still doing some interesting things with the fairies. And I'm quite liking, um, in this one, Harry's kind of got himself this assistant, this werewolf who's trying to help him out. I don't know what's up with this lighting. Look, it's like this eye's got no light on it. Like I'm a pirate, a shadow pirate. That's a distraction. Harry has this werewolf assistant and I quite like him. I like the, the dynamic that he adds to the story and it's not just Harry all the time being a dick he's actually got someone helping him out and calling him out on some things. So I also remembered back when I first started work again and I was going into the office I think maybe I, I even started this before I was going into the office but I was making myself go for a walk before work and somehow along the way I stopped doing that so I think I'm going to try reinstate morning walks and lunchtime walks and then in the evenings I won't have to try and fit in exercise because I've already done some. That's my new plan. Also that will mean that in the mornings and at lunchtime I can listen to my audiobook. So hopefully that will help with making audiobook progress as well. So tomorrow when I go for some walks, hopefully, hopefully it won't rain actually, it's been raining a lot, but hopefully if I go for some walks I can finish off the summer night. Um, right now I'm gonna have a bath and then I'm gonna go to bed early because I need that sleep um, and I'm gonna try before I go to bed to finish reading these that that math is not gonna work. In my head I'm like you can just read these in like the hour before bed but actually I think each of these will take me about an hour to read each so that maths is flawed but in my head I'm telling myself I'm gonna finish this off tonight. I think actually one of these is due back at the library. Maybe both of these are due back at the library on Tuesday so I need to finish these tonight and tomorrow really. Also I just want to. So I guess did I talk about these already in this vlog? Basically Giant Days is a 
graphic novel series, comic series about these girls at university. These are the final three books in the series and I'm super excited to read them because I just really like these books for some unknown reason. They're just kind of fun, not much to them, but I like them. So I will check in with you tomorrow and tell you how all that finishing off of reading Summer Night and Giant Days goes. And hopefully even though I'm working, I'll follow through on that and work won't take up my whole week. I don't know if that's gonna work out, but I'm gonna try again. Okay, so just right this second, I just finished off Summer Night by Jim Butcher, the fourth Harry Dresden book. Is it the fourth one or the fifth one? I've forgotten where I'm up to, but regardless, I actually really liked it. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention to it, but near the end I felt like we got a lot less of this sexual description stuff, especially in the life or death situations, which whew, I don't know if it's partly because a lot of the female characters were fairies. I mean in the beginning they were definitely described sexually, but I feel like at the end when we were in the battle there was a lot less of that. And I really appreciated that. I could just enjoy this big fairy war that was going down in the mystery with that without any stupid distractions. And I quite liked it. Um, I will say that kind of when I went for a walk at lunchtime, there was a part where he kind of figured out what was going on and it kind of explained it all to you quite laboriously like he was forced into the situation where he had to answer questions and he basically explained exactly what was happening as part of answering his questions and I think it would have been better if it had kind of been slowly revealed in a way where it was really obvious to the audience not like oh Harry's so clever he had to explain the whole thing to you but regardless I think I think maybe Maybe that was my favourite book of the series so far. So, I guess I'll keep reading that series. I did just create my TBR for July and I didn't put another one on, so I, I might at least take a month off Harry Dresden and read another book in August, maybe. But I think I'll continue. The other thing that I have been reading since I last talked to you is Giant Days, and I realised I kept holding up three books, even though I knew I was reading 11 to 14. 11 to 14 is four books. Um, I had misplaced book number 12, but I've found it since then. So I've still got to read these three, and I only got about halfway through, three quarters of the way through number 11 last night. I just... <laughs> By the time I mucked around and finished things off, I was way too tired and I fell asleep while I was reading it. However, I was really enjoying it. It's Valentine's Day, there's a bunch of stuff with McGraw that I really like. Daisy gets involved in a Christmas cult. Esther is being classic Esther. I just, I really love this series. So, um, I need to try and finish this off tonight, but it's the end of the week or a day past the end of the week so I'm going to finish this vlog up here and continue reading these in the next reading vlog which I will start momentarily and tell you all my thoughts about this in the next vlog. Probably for these ones I'll just tell you that I love them but I'll probably read some other things as well. So in this reading vlog what did I read? Summer Night, the Harry Dresden book, Libria Mancer. Is that all? Maybe that's all. It has been a busy week but today was actually very relaxing and I feel caught up now so hopefully next week I can keep up with that although I have to go into the office again every day the rest of the week so I'll probably be a disaster again by the end of the week. Never mind but do let me know if you have read any of the books that I read in this reading vlog or if you just want to talk about any books down in the comments I'm keen otherwise thank you so much for watching I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time.